Hey, hey, this is Smiles here with a classic game review. Today, we'll take you back to the year 2001 for the release of Pikmin. Pikmin was one of the first games to come out for the Nintendo GameCube, and since then has become a fan favorite. The game puts you in the role of Captain Olimar, a space pilot who crash lands on Earth. The rocket ship loses 30 parts during the crash, and to make matters worse, Olimar's life support fails in 30 days. All hope seems lost until he encounters the strange creatures known as Pikmin. Whether it's fighting enemies, breaking down gates, or carrying rocket parts back to the ship, the Pikmin do anything that Olimar commands. The game's story is simple enough. Olimar crash lands, he has 30 days to rescue 30 parts, and he discovers Pikmin who can help him. While the basic plot isn't deep, you can't help but fall in love with the Pikmin. I mean, just look at them! Their blank expressions would make any heart melt. The real draw of this game is the Pikmin. The unique world of Pikmin is stunning and effectively highlights the Nintendo GameCube's strength. The game allows you to command up to 100 Pikmin at a time, demonstrating the GameCube's ability to handle many character models at once. The environments are also very detailed. The grass and water looks natural and realistic. The music, which features a dynamic soundtrack, is also well developed. Whenever you approach an enemy, the sound track adds percussion and other instruments to the mix. It's hard to believe that this game came out shortly after the end of the Nintendo 64. Pikmin is a strategy game that utilizes every single button on the GameCube controller. And when I say every, I mean every. To put it simply, I had to buy a new controller because it was impossible to play with a broken C-stick. True, while you mainly use A and B for most of your actions, you'll find yourself adjusting the camera constantly. The Pikmin come in three different colors, red, blue, and yellow. Red Pikmin are the strongest fighters and resist fire, blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can swim, and yellow Pikmin are thrown higher and can carry bomb rocks to blow things up. Pikmin also come in three varieties, leaf, bud, and flower. Flower Pikmin are the most mature and thus are the fastest and strongest, while leaf Pikmin are the weakest and slowest. Knowing which Pikmin to use for what task is key to your survival. While it may first seem like a daunting task to coordinate your Pikmin squad, it gets easier over time. The only thing that still frustrates me though, is those few Pikmin that run off every time we pass long grass. I mean, ugh, it's always a pain to call them back. The replay value of Pikmin is very high. Each day in Pikmin is equivalent to about 15 minutes, so a 30 day time limit only requires about 7 hours of gameplay. After your first playthrough, you'll be better at multitasking and be able to cut your 30 days in half. If you get tired of the main story, you can always try out Challenge Mode, where you try to grow as many Pikmin as you can in one day. Between the main game and Challenge Mode, the replay of Pikmin is very high. While the game suffers from some frustrating controls, it doesn't take away too much from Pikmin. Overall, Pikmin is a fun and imaginative game. The graphics, gameplay, and replay value are definite high points.